Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Kim, Nick, and George. Hello. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. So today I'm going to be playing Kazen and doing a lot of attacking. My deck is inspired from uh, Archetype, in which you uh, destroy all of your opponent's resources in hopes to get ahead. Nice. All right, next up we have Nick. All right, uh, we've previously seen a deck like this, where my champions just wanted to chill day out at the zoo. And I'm trying to revisit that, but this time, uh, time Grinnon was really upset they didn't get to show up, so he's leading the pack. And uh, hopefully they inspire my champions to do some powerful things. Yeah, Grindon needs some time in the zoo. Gotta That's get right. out of that gym. All right, next up we have George. Hey everyone. Uh, so I've been told, or I'm now fully aware, that my deck is Tulian. It's a purple blue deck uh, called Sapphire Storm. Uh, its aim is to bewilder, confuse, and train all of its citizens to overwhelm its opponents. I'm looking forward to finding out whether or not my idea to try and make Isabella a focus gives her a victory today. All right, and today I'll be playing Mia, Junior Quest Seeker. This deck is a location-based strategy involving a whole bunch of locations with expensive activated abilities. And to ensure that I have enough time to set up my expensive game plan, I'll be spending a lot of the early game attempting to slow down the rest of you. That's it for intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Okay, my turn. We got one gold. Turn one. Let's put Research Vessel. Also, we have a free draw. Let's take advantage of that right now. And let's just go with the preventive measures real quick. <laughs> Ooh, off the top. All right. Just, just right off the rip. First up, Alvin. Mia is the only unique <laughs> denizen in my deck. So if you're looking for any extras, you're not going to find any. Well, then I will make one of your locations go away. To be honest, I don't really like your exploration vessel. Yeah, nice. that's pretty much the perfect thing to get rid of, I think. Now, I will look at Kim's deck. You'll see a lot of confusing stuff. Out there. Um, assert dominance? Absolutely not. Uh, no! <laughs> so, right. now we move on to Nick. I, I play all the champions. I, I told you that right up front. Is, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, this is a spicy deck. I don't even... What's not a threat in here? Um... <laughs> Like no, seriously, it's very like I'm, I'm kind of worried. Yeah. Nick, I'm so sorry. I don't. I'm not trying to bully. I'm not. But I really just feel like this card is going to be a problem for me to win later. So I'm getting rid of it now. Become ferocious is gone. Uh, very nice. And then I will draw my card, and I guess also I play a hidden back, hidden flower patch. Pass. <laughs> All right. So. I will start out my turn by playing Tranquil Cottage, and I hope you guys all had fun with that first turn because I'm gonna go ahead and play my own preventive no. measures. Uh oh. All right. What oh, a yeah, turn one into <laughs> another turn one. Wow. All right. So the card I'm selecting from Kim's deck to be removed is Eldrian, Famed Explorer. Go ahead and shuffle your deck. Now go yep. ahead and take a look at Nick's deck. All right. So. The card that I'm most afraid of is Ava and Wavering Optimist. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and shuffle. And for George... No. I know what exactly who you're going to hunt no, with you this don't. pattern. Okay, why don't you go ahead and guess? You're going to get rid of Junila in my hand, in my deck. No, I actually am not. I'm going to get rid of Efficient Workflow. So go ahead and Aww, shuffle your deck. Just, just as bad. Yep. Just as bad. And then now I'll go oh. ahead and draw my card from Preventive Measures. And that will complete it, and then I'll go ahead and use my free draw as well. And then I will play one more location, the Hidden Thicket, and I'll pass it over to you, Kim. Wonderful. I'm going to play out a Dangerous Path and immediately use his ability. Looking at the mm -hmm. top card of my deck, uh, putting it on the bottom, and then drawing a card for my turn. Then uh, I will use my one gold that I get from my turn on a Longbow. Cool. A very underrated... Yes. Underrated card. Uh, I'll pass my turn. All right. So my turn. A gold. We'll start with a hidden crag, but I don't know if we're going to use it just yet. We'll just take a free card draw. All right, yeah, that free draw wasn't playable, so uh, let's just use our gold to search on our hidden crag. Mm. Bait out those uh, those roadblocks. Bring them on. <laughs> That's the turn. I am running them, but 
I didn't draw it in my opening hand. Fingers crossed. Ah. I guess we should do the free draw now. Looks like we're going to have to just put one gold into this flower patch and then let's put out this greedy merchant. Cool. All right. Your turn, Owen. All right. Cool. So my turn to get my gold for turn. I will use my free draw attempting to draw into my roadblock. Ugh, no dice. All right. So my first play will be to play Keteran Vault. And then I will spend one gold to put a quest counter on Keteran Vault. All right, if you thought two preventive measures was bad, how about three? No! <laughs> all right, so let's do this all oh, over again. Right. Kim, I'm going to take a look at your deck. Once more. And this mm -hmm. time, Don't I'm play. going to select for removal. Become ferocious, because that is the next most scary thing. I'll go ahead and shuffle your deck. And then, Nick, right. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your deck once more. I already know what I want to get rid of. This time, it's Lorene. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, go ahead and shuffle your deck. And then George, um, if you haven't already drawn it, I am specifically looking for your other efficient workflow. And look at that, I found it. So your second efficient workflow is gone. Please go ahead and shuffle your deck. I will now draw a card for the preventive measures, completing it. So that was a pretty productive turn. I'll go ahead and end it like that. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to start off my turn, gaining my gold, drawing my card. And I'm going to play... Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me put that back in my hand. Oh, yeah. I'm right, going to play Grand that. Fish Market. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to play Master of Poison. Right. For two gold. Cool. And with that, I'm just going to end my turn there. Right. Presence of Deadly Denizens is not making me real happy uh, at the zoo here. So, yeah. To get started, we will uh, up their search counter on Hidden Crag to effectively gain one gold. <laughs> and then we'll play a Uncaged Brindle Tusk. Whew. Our first exhibit at the zoo. Oh boy. Very nice. The, the zookeeper's got to do some work right off the bat to maybe get this guy under control, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it oh, out. Geez. We'll get it back in the cage sooner or later. Yeah, please. All right. I'm hoping the deadly doesn't come my way immediately. For, if we're going to be aggro, I'm afraid of this. Mia, she's caught us before being like, oh, my location is just out all the time. So yes. Maybe yes. I'll get the swing. All right. And then we'll take one free draw for the turn. But uh, that's what my turn's going to look like. And we'll pass. We are at turn three. So I've got three gold. All right. Well, let's. Take one gold, put it in here. Now I'm up four gold. Mm -hmm. And I, let me use my free draw. We're going to put the obnoxious name caller uh -oh. into oh. the streets. Because guess what? It's time for a desire to live. <sighs> oh. The old D2L. The old D2L. And passing turn, <laughs> walking away. All right. <laughs> Get my gold for turn. Use my free draw. So, I said this at the beginning of the episode, I'm just trying to slow you guys down. So I'm going to spend this turn playing Outmaneuver, and I'm going to Outmaneuver the Uncaged Brindle Tusk. Because oh, Nick's cool. hand is full, when the uh, Uncaged Brindle Tusk goes to Nick's hand, it'll be put onto the top of his deck. All right, and then I'm going to spend one more gold to put one more quest counter onto Keteran Vault. And I think that's good for me. Pass it over to you, Kim. All right, I'm going to draw my card. And gain my gold. Uh, I'll play Verdant Path uh, using its ability to look at the top card, putting it on the bottom, and then I'm going to abandon my Grand Fish Market to draw another card. Nice. I'm going to play Statue of the Great Conqueror using its arrival ability to give Master of Poison one more health. I'm going <laughs> to use my Master of Poison uh, to attack ah, your okay. name color. All right, Kim, why don't you go ahead and explain how deadly and desire to live? Desire to live only means that it does not get destroyed by having zero or less health, but it does not mean that it can't die to effects like uh, Deadly, which immediately destroy it. So Master of Poison dealing one damage to the Obnoxious Name Caller will just outright uh, destroy it. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to pay three to play Skilled Huntress. Ah. Uh, and now I'm going to pass my turn. Okay. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll play a Statue of the Fierce Hunter, we'll align ourselves to green, and then a Hungry Bear. Very nice. We'll use the arrival of the statue, make it a little bit healthier, and pass okay. it to Four gold. Free draw. I guess I'm paying three gold to use research vessels, draw a card. Yeah, we'll just, we're just gonna have to pass the turn. All right. My turn four. 
I'll go ahead and use my free draw. So I am out of removals. So looks like that bear is going to be sticking around. Um, my guess is Kim is probably not going to want to really mess with this because this bear is almost no threat to Kim, but it is a threat to what I'm doing. So my yeah. guess is, okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just play a couple hand refilling based campaigns. So the first one is Explore the Unknown and the second one is Quest for the First Vault. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do this turn. Pass. Wonderful. I'm going to start my turn by gaining my gold and drawing my card. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to pay three gold to play Disaster Survivors. Uh, then I'm going to uh, use Master of Poison's ability for one gold to Oof. make Disaster Survivors deadly. Wow, that is a very cool board you've got there. I try. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, and then I will, you know, I'll just pass. That'll be my turn. Yeah, nice and productive. All right. We do get to visit the bear encampment. Well, this turn we'll gain four gold and take a free draw. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I knew that was there. I suppose I should have drawn him last turn. I will start with the, as promised, attacks into these locations. But they just go ham. And we'll make the first one your cottage. Okay. Bears in the woods, you know how they are. Yeah, man. Cottage country. Lots of bears. Yeah. And then I will play Use Force for one. So I've yep. made an attack this turn. Carbs will cost one less to play. And then one will that will be for a gray wolf. And then two of that will be for Grindon. Whew. Finally at the zoo, he's, he's just chill. He's, he's like, hey, I don't know if these animals, they're a little vicious, but I like how buff they are. <laughs> yeah. Very inspired by that. So then we will go to the end of turn, and he will see the hungry bear, and I'll gain three points. On the board. Yes. Okay. So we're on turn five. So I'm going to play Junila's Curiosity. Take my free draw. I'm going to use my campaign Demoralize. And I will pass my turn. All right, cool. Turn five, get my gold, get my phase counters. All right, the zoo is getting V scary. So let's see here. I got I to gotta be careful how I tread here. So I'm going to try to score some points here. Yeah, I think that's the least I can do is try to score some points. So... Here comes Mia, four gold. Oh, I haven't used my free draw yet because uh, based on how I want to sequence this, I think using my free draw later will be ideal. So I have not used my free draw yet. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one gold to activate Keteran Vault's ability. That's going to score me one point when Mia sees the activation. I'll put a final quest counter on here, gain five gold, going back up to five and losing that. And then I'm going to go ahead and Activate Quest for the First Vault, searching for a card called Patrol Vessel, and then I'm going to play Patrol Vessel, and then I'm going to use Explore the Unknown to look at the top three cards of my deck, put one into my hand, uh, I will put that into my hand, and shuffle the rest. Then now I will play the location from hand, and then now I will use my free draw. Okay, so for three gold, I'm going to activate Patrol Vessel, spending three gold, one, two, three, scoring myself three points, and drawing a card. And then I'm going to spend one gold to activate Hidden Thicket, gaining one point, putting a search counter, and then I'll do the same for this Hidden Cave, spending one gold, scoring one point, putting one counter. All right, so I don't know how long these now are for life with all the power on board, so let's see. Um... I'm thinking I will simply play and abandon the familiar road. Hmm. Because I just want to draw into more useful locations, let's just say. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm happy with that turn. Pass it over to you, Ken. Wonderful. I'm going to start with my free draw. I'm going to start by paying two to play a diligent farmer. Hmm. And then using its ability immediately to essentially go up to four. Yep. Then I would like to play a uh, Grindon personal trainer. <laughs> uh, and then I'd like to adapt disaster survivors. Yep. Then I'm going to use the longbow's ability to attach it to disaster survivors, <laughs> losing right, it and giving gold. disaster survivors range. All right. This board is uh, so scary. I'm sending Skilled Huntress at Mia. Yep, and she's going to 
deal her damage first, and because she is deadly, Mia is going to hit the hay. All right, and then Disaster Survivors uh, is going to try and claim its first victim. I'm going to hit your hidden thicket. Okay, dealing five to it. Uh huh. And then Master of Poison is going to follow suit and destroy it. Yep. Ouch. Uh, I'm going to go to the end of my turn. Granted, will gave me three points. Very nice. Then I will pass. I appreciate you keeping the poison out of the zoo. There, yeah. are, uh, <laughs> there are bylaws about this. <laughs> Don't feed oh. the animals poison. Right. Inner gold for the turn. And they are allowed to hit draw. the gym, though. Yeah. He'll, he'll help the... I don't know what exercises a gray wolf does. But I imagine, you know, it's all legs, right? Goes. Prince, Prince. Yeah, it's like it's always leg day. It's always <laughs> leg day. All right. All day, every day. Since those deadly denizens didn't come my way, I don't think I'll send any at you. Let's see what oh, you got going on over here. Uh oh. Just gotta, they are deadly just, after all. I just have a greedy merchant over here. He hasn't done anyone anything. No, I'm I'm not I'm not looking your way either. I don't know if I want to get everybody hostile. Hostile, 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 hostile. I think we do want to get in with the bear, who's already hostile, and Grinnin. It's not that bad. At the cave. The cave? All right. Bye bye, cave. All right. And then I think what we ever do to play is the Brindle Tusk. We're going to revisit that exhibit. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I thought this was closed until further notice. We were deflected, but uh, the zookeepers have said that we're okay to be there now. That's right. And we will use Grinnin's routine to give the Grey Wolf. Uh, one more power. But then uh, the rest of the cards in my hand don't seem too appealing to play, so I will not be using the last two gold. We'll just end the turn and gain six points. Power play. Mm. And now I suspect that the zoo might see some uh, infiltrators. But <laughs> Yeah, George, we, we might need to do a like temporary truce. Do uh, we have to talk about things, guys? I mean, basically, I well, think I'm willing well, to uh, drop a temporary truce between you and myself. All right, well, let me just tell you at rip, Supportive Friends is going to the bottom of the deck. All right. So well. this is active. <laughs> and I have a free draw. So I'm going to draw that card. We're going to get our gal in there because she's only one gold now. True. And she's not alone because guess who's only two gold now? Ooh, nice. Very nice, George. Thank you. Thank you. So she's two gold now. Okay. I still have one gold. That's crazy. But we're going to play this as well. Grand okay. Theater. Wow. And I get to draw a card. That's happening right now. Because so right now you have Denizen and you have Location. Inspiration is unlocked, but you do not have the third card type. If you did, this turn would be insane for you. Well, it is insane, my guy. Because guess what? Desire to live. Tactic. Oh. Nice. Okay. I guess it would probably have to go to Isabella. D2L. The old D2L. The old D2L. I should abandon Hidden Flower Patch because I don't necessarily need it anymore. Sure. Uh, okay, so I activate Yumi's ability, uh, scoring points equal to the number of card types among the cards I've played this turn. I played three card types, Denzian, Location, and Tactic. Correct. That's, uh, that allows me three points, and then it allows me to produce one artwork token. I sell the uh, artwork for two gold, but I get an extra gold because my greedy merchant allows me to sell my items for one extra gold. Very nice. So I now have three gold. I will play my restraining order for one gold. I'm going to use the vanishing order now on uh, disaster survivors as well as use my demoralize to get rid of diligent farmer. Oh, come on. Oh. And master of poison. You might have just handed me a win. Well, I mean, the only reason my denizens are alive is because I've because Kim's been. Uh... It's okay, but we've got. Yeah, the... but you have two more phases to be worried about me. This is now in my inactive zone. Okay, then I activate uh, insight for Watchtower Scout. Other Denzians you control become perceptive until your next turn. Yep. Which gives Isabella another ability. Correct. Until my next turn. Uh, Isabella will score me three points because at the end of my turn, she has three abilities. Uh, her innate ability, desire to live, and now perceptive. Beautiful. Learning. And I pass my turn. Um, all right. That was an amazing turn, George. I will go ahead and get my gold, get my phase counters. Um, okay. So I think Kim is now our only hope. The skilled huntress can one-shot any of these big zoo animals. So let's see. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do for this turn? Uh, 
Uh, okay, so I think I will play this location. It was in my hand, but I need to free up some space because now I want to uh, use my quest for the first vault, fetch out another location. Uh, I want some green alignment. So I'll go ahead and... So I still haven't used my free draw, but first I'm going to use the Explore the Unknown. Look at the top three. Uh, I will put this into my hand. Shuffle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play Erase Memories on Grindon. Yeah. As usual, they forget themselves at the zoo. It happens so often. <laughs> yes. Now I will use my free draw. Uh, okay, so I'll play Crackdown on Crime. That will hopefully slow down the board a little bit more as well. And then I will play out History Education and a marked map, which I won't be able to activate. Pass. All right. I will free draw. Uh, I'm going to play my champion, Cajun. It's time. <laughs> yeah, finally. I abandon my red location to draw another card. Then I'm going to use join the hunt uh, on Cajun. That's sick. He wants all the freedom. <laughs> oh boy. Then I'm going to use Statue of the Great Conqueror. And I'm going to use that on Grindon. This is going to be huge. I'm going to attack Skilled Huntress at the bear. Bears down. She hunted a bear. Look at that. Indeed. I'm going to attack Kazen at your gray wolf. Yep. <sighs> That's insane. And since it has ranged, it won't take any damage. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Grindon to attack into uh, Alvin's location. All right. Doing what I came here to, to do. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to use Kazen's aggression ability to score points equal to the number of attacks that I made this turn, which is three. Then produce a runaway slave token if I've scored three or more points this way, which I have. Uh, I will put a slave on there. Okay. Beautiful turn. Very nice. Yeah. Pass. All right. Well, turns out that somebody did slip in. They had some poison on them. But, uh, <laughs> Azul will recover. I understand people are very excited to come and visit, so... Yeah, I'll take a free draw for the turn. Nice. The most exciting. Uh, but we'll just play it. We'll play Cliffside Cottage. Uh, we're going to abandon the Hidden Crag, this other red location. Pay two for this invasive fungus. Nice. Uh, not the most popular exhibit at the zoo, but, you know. So the arrival of the invasive fungus will hit the greedy merchant to weaken it. The merchant has no particular desire to live, so he's out of here. <laughs> that and sounds so sad. One more world for the bees. We're going to make an attack of Grindon into Grindon. Yeah, uh -huh. Spider-Man memes. Use each other. Mirror match. Yeah. And then uh, Grindon will get his act together and we'll replay him. Now he's, he's refreshed. A temporary multiverse oh, yeah. paradox has been resolved, so he's back. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, then one more attack. If we got into routine, that would have been ideal, but we can't. So we'll just make an attack of five into your white vessel, Mr. Patrol over there. Yeah. Hostile, and he gets a cage counter. We, we put him back in his exhibit, but... I have a feeling somebody might sabotage it and let him out again. <laughs> we'll just have to see. All right, and then I end my turn, and we'll gain three points from the uncaged brindle tusk. Uh, yeah, and pass to George. Okay, we are at seven gold. Let's go with the free draw first. I activate Janelia's Curiosity. You have a completes. discount of one for the rest of the turn. I will play my Astute Scholar and draw two more cards. Very nice. I play Quick Learner for two gold. <laughs> That's pretty good. I activate Quick Learner's ability by giving her one gold, and I am choosing the Astute Scholar. Put that on there, and I guess I activate, oh, right yeah. uh, I draw two more cards. Oh, I should also play um, Hidden Waterfall, and I'll play a Hidden water pa uh, Flower Patch. <laughs> All right, so you've got... Two car types and inspirations unlocked. Abandon, since it's no longer useful to me. Grand Theater okay. for a draw. Oh, cool. I play another Demoralize. <laughs> this reminds me of a video I just watched today. <laughs> <sighs> That's great. What's your original Demoralize going to go after? Um, I'm tired of seeing Skilled Huntress on the field. No. And I don't really... And I don't like Nick, who's already calling the game to have killer bees at his beck and call at any point. Fair. Not the bees. Not the bees. I love that movie. Um, yeah, so both of these are unlocked. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I have artwork. Now that Yumi's inspiration is unlocked, I have the ability to put a token into play. Her artwork. All right, score yourself three points. And also you... scores me three points? That's right. Three points because you played three different card types this turn. Yes, sir. I will sell this for money God, it keeps going. right now because I only need it to play this right now while it's still in effect. Oh, Support okay. a friend. For only one hey. goal. Oh, no way. All right. And I put the one extra gold yep. the next time an effect would score you points this turn. It scores you that many points plus two instead. I activate Watchtower Scout's insight to give everyone perceptive until my next turn. So now that Isabella has three abilities, she scores me that many extra points. But because I also have supportive friends here, I score two extra points. And I am at 14 points. Crazy. And pass my turn. Cruz Oinkers. All right. Masterful turn, George. I get my goal for turn, get all my phase counters. All right, so I'm not going to use my free draw yet because I have a lot of stuff to do. So first, I'm going to use my quest for the first vault, attempting to search for a unique location, which I will not be able to find because it was there literally just to find the Keteran vault. So I'm just going to shuffle my deck and lose this. And then my marked map, surprisingly, has survived a turn. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to get my patrol game back on by searching for a patrol vessel and then now i'll use explore the unknown for its final phase looking at the top three uh put this into my hand completing this campaign all right and then now i'm going to use my free draw Whew. okay so crackdown on crime i think yumi has done enough I'm going to discover that she's been using illicit drugs to come up with her artworks. This is Whoa. illegal. Scandal. And yes, put down the bottom of your deck, please, sir. Okay. Wow. Arrest this artist. Uh, all right. And then I'm going to play Declare Guilty. Uh, and I'm going to ask you to put this on the bottom of your deck, please. Wow. They've been encouraging Yumi's drug habit, and that's not good. <laughs> um, all right. And then I'm going to follow that up with a Drive Insane. So I would like each of you Ooh, oh, to discard wow. a card at random. Please and thank you. No. Oh, no. And do that again. Yikers. Yikers, indeed. Uh, all right. And then now I'll use my You're history education. Both of my cards. So I have no cards. OK, so yeah, I, <laughs> I did that. Um, OK, so this bad boy is not long for life. So let's just go ahead. Actually, you know what? True Am I even a threat at this point? Do you guys even care about attacking me? Uh, I think the biggest think that threat George here is for you. Sorry, I heard Nick says. Yeah, everyone threatened me just now. Okay. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Correct. Uh, George right. needs to. <laughs> let's let's abandon. We it. all simultaneously just... agreed. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's 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 mostly just my turn, just trying to catch up. So I'll go ahead and pass. All right. I'll take my free draw, seeing as I need it. <laughs> I'll also uh, take my abandoned draw off of one of my statues. Mm -hmm. of two of them. Uh, I'm going to use my Kazen to attack into uh, your uncaged Riddle Tusk. All right. So that ranged will be sort of ineffective right now, but um, yeah. Unfortunately, put into <laughs> the thing. Then I'm going to immediately play him again. Uh, I see. Okay. Sure. I'm going to pay three gold to play Combat Instructor. Uh, another denizen gets uh, blah blah blah. I'm gonna give Did that to. Yada yada me? Huh? Did yeah. you just yada yada me? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> okay. Uh, both Kazen and the Tenacious will attack into Watchtower Scout. Uh, first with Tenacious. Uh, next and... with Kazen. All right. Bye bye, Watchtower Scout. Dang it. She had a good run. She did. Then I can use Kazen's ag aggression ability, since I have attacked three times, twice with Kazen. Correct. Uh, I can still produce a runaway slave. Is that correct? That's correct. It counts yes. the number of attacks. Hmm. Okay. Now I get to make another slave and pass my turn. Freeing all the slaves. Good on you, Ken. All right. So we'll start our turn. Gain a gold. All right, much needed card. Uh, what will we do? What will we do? So without that scout, Isabella doesn't have too many abilities. I go back I to really... a non-threat without not, a third ability. It's not huge. So I think what I have to do is uh, play it safe. I'm going to make Statue of the Great Conqueror give one more health to Uncaged Brindle Tusk. Cool. Oh, there's still a mm. quick learner. Well, whatever. You can't do it. You can't save it all. 
And I'll abandon that uh, statue. Okay. Draw one more card. All right. We'll play Hidden Crag. Mm -hmm. uh, search on it. Play two more. I will rapidly adapt the invasive <sighs> bonus. <laughs> yeah. Brendan, uh, still being around, he's like, hey, finally, I get to give somebody the pumps. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to use the ability of Uncaged Bindle Tuff to remove a counter. So it breaks free one more time and then makes an attack. And I'm not that afraid of Alvin anymore. I'm going to try Ooh. to keep George off of drawing some cards by attacking his research. Wow. Oh, clever. That's so clever. Wow. Cage counter goes back on. That's right. Mm. Yeah. So I uh, will end my turn and gain six points. Pass. All right, All right. George. This doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter anymore. You're so... Oh, geez, Nick. Come on. Um, okay, so phase three. Who's got threes? Who's got straight up threes? Like, who's just going away right now? That's who... All phase right, so... Is, well, plenty of on the boards. He's going. He's going. And this is completed. I have another demoralized for one ones. And since I only see two one ones, unfortunately for you, Kim, your runaway slaves are out of here. No. We sought it's freedom a... and then we're demoralized. Time to draw a card. And I guess I just put search counters in these. <laughs> yep. I have no more draw power. I could abandon something, but well, actually. Risk it all. Yeah, why not, right? You can pay alignment tax. What could you draw that you couldn't pay tax on, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can't pay tax on now. I abandoned Hidden Waterfall so that I may draw a card. You you searched on you it and then you hit. abandoned it. That's a power play. <laughs> I spend three gold to play History Education. That's right. Sometimes um, it's worth it to pay three gold to draw three cards. Yeah, it, it really was. That was a very well-calculated play. I score oh, two sure points with Isabella, Child Prodigy, because of my two abilities, her innate and uh, D2L. Yes. So I have one, two. All right, my turn? Yes. Okay. Get my goal for turn, get my two phase counters, and then, yeah, Nick is on the precipice of winning. I think Crycon and Crime's got to banish the invasive fungus. Bottom of Rusting the, the fungus? How, does it, how would you even go about that? <laughs> I know. Handcuffs. Custom handcuffs. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and play my champion for four. One, two, three, four. Uh, mm. And then, so I spent two mm. gold to play Termination Notice. I don't think it's going to be very relevant, so I'll just sell it immediately to get back my gold. I just want some free spots in my hand. Uh, I haven't used my free draw yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play Hidden Thicket, and then use my free draw, and then I'll play Quiet Path, use its arrival to look at the top card. Uh, do I want that? No, I don't want that. Put it bottom. And then now I will use Exploration Vessel, spending three gold. One, two, three. Yeah, will score me three points off that. Two, three. And then I'll draw a card. Okay. One more time. Another location. Wall Path. Mm. Take a look at the top card. Do I want that? I think now is not the time for... Actually, yeah, now is not the time for that. Now is the time for racing. Uh, and then I will go ahead and now activate Hidden Thicket, spending one gold, scoring one point, put a search counter on it so i'll go ahead and abandon the quiet path now draw a card and then i have my history education which i will now resolve pass over to you kim yay i'm going to gain my gold for the turn and then take my free draw i don't think i have any win cards this is i'm just gonna this... abandon my green source hmm. okay. draw yeah no i don't think i can do anything here but uh, i'll play another green it's another Grand Fish Market. Nice. Uh, I will pay two for survival trading, two for a Javelin Trucker, and one, two, three for Assert Dominance. Ooh, okay. Then I'm going to use Kazen to do what I came here for. I'm going to attack that location. <laughs> wow, seriously? Like, for four? For four. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to activate Aggression to score one point. That's my turn. Uh, all right, so we'll gain our goal for the turn our free draw uh i will search on the hidden crag and then immediately abandon it go up one gold and then draw a card what? we're gonna play a campaign and then another campaign total oh, five gold okay mm -hmm. so what i draw it's what mm -hmm. i play and then my grinnan's gonna suck into a bit of roid rage and attack oh, him he's uh upset that there's no more exhibits to see at the zoo <laughs> and then uh, yeah, um, that would make me upset too yeah he'll, he'll show back up be like oh i'll give it another shot we'll see what next turn brings and pass to george 
Okay, so I'm at nine gold. I have one free draw. I will draw a card. I have another draw from history education. I'll draw a card. Surprise points. Do you just win? You're the only one who could wander through his deck. You think he's got it? Uh, yeah, there he... is one card that would win, I think. Act two cards, uh, actually, that could win. Uh, I need to put one gold into my hidden flower patch so I get back two gold. I play Greedy Merchant. <laughs> I play Black Mora Powder. And I play Quick Learner. All right. Pretty cool. I would like to use Quick Learner to copy Astute Scholar taking away one gold, allowing her the ability to draw two more cards. Pretty ballin', George. I am, and I play Thief in the Night. Interesting. I also play Statue of the Wise Teacher. I get. I guess I'll give it to my Thief in the Night. Oh, shoot. I just realized this would have cost you alignment tax because you were not aligned to blue at the time. Um, so you oh, can, that's true. So you can rectify that by uh, just getting, just not playing your Black Mora Powder because, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, I can't give Isabella any more abilities. Uh, we are on phase two of this, and I want. I mean, it's got to be these two, right? You're... Obvious targets. Only reason. Yeah, like, reasonable. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kim. Oh. The potential for two attacks as well is sort of gone. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Well, no, it's not gone, but it's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Isabella has her innate and D2L. So because of that, she will score two points. Yep. For me. You're on the precipice. And I am, at, now I am also on the precipice. One more turn and I win. But I mean, like, it's pretty crazy. Kim has no cards. Nick has no cards. I have one card. And Alvin has a full hand. And the biggest turnaround character in the game. Let's find, <laughs> out. Let's find out. All right, my turn nine. Grab my gold. Grab my face counter. All right, so first things first. I do want to score some points. Okay, so I'm going to play my champion for four. And then I'm going to activate my hidden thicket. Spending one gold, scoring one point, putting a stage counter, and getting two gold. And then for two of that gold, I'm going to play outmaneuver to outmaneuver your... Isabella. Mm -hmm. There she goes. Wow. So at least it's not a free win. You're going to have to somehow grab an ability. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, so I have not used my free draw yet. Uh, I'm going to play this location, the hidden cave. And then now I'm going to use my free draw as well as my history education. And then I'm going to play an abandoned familiar road. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to activate. Hidden Cave, spending one gold, gaining one point to put a search counter. Uh, all right, and then I will drop a Cozy Cottage to free up one spot in my hand. So now I can activate Exploration Vessel, spending three gold, scoring three points, and drawing a card. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll I pass it over version. to you, Kim. Wonderful. The biggest thing to stop Alvin from winning is to get rid of the Cottage. Well, there, there's... Oh, sorry. That has to be in combination with George's um, Mora Powder. And then mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think he has enough gold to, to win. I'll, I'll gain my gold. I'll draw my card. Uh, well, I have occasion to play. Mm -hmm. uh, um, boy. Okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm going to use Assert Dominance. Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it in this order because it's the better. I'm going to yep. use Survival Training. Then I'm going to Assert Dominance to give it plus one plus zero and deal damage to another denizen or an item. Uh, I'll I'll run the damage at Grindon because um, you can still have some point ga gaining card that would uh, do it. Uh, run Cajun into the Cozy Cottage. All right, and George can finish it off. Uh, I'll just score a point uh, from its ability, and that that'll be my turn. All right, so started my turn. Lots of gold, a couple of phase counters. For my free draw, we'll use Explore the Unknown. Look at the top three. This is fun. Put this into my hand and then shuffle. I will take a free draw. Here's the win. Uh, yeah, maybe. Right. As usual, at the end of the tour, where it comes down to is we finally make our way to the exotic tigers, the most flashy uh -huh. of exhibits. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. exotic tigers. Yep. Uh, nothing, and Grinnan will join them. He just wants to see them. One more exhibit before things uh, come to their end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is coming to the end of the day at the field trip, huh? 
Sir Dominance could do a thing. Oh. But uh, I think I'm going to need to rely on George to make some decisions to stop Alvin. Yeah, or just so... win the game either way. So I pass. Okay. So I just realized you, because there's so much power on the board, um, I can still run my Mia into it and remove her that way. So Great. No pressure. Let's see where it goes. First, draw a card for the free draw. History education draw. Oh, I don't like that smile. Uh, we're now <laughs> entering yep. Hidden Flower Patch. Yep, we're going to have to put that into the inactive zone and do another draw. <laughs> Astute Scholar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're down to seven gold. Draw two more cards. Ability Giver. Use Trickery, perhaps. A short sword. I mean, a short sword will win you the game. I need to put a uh, crowded auditorium down. <laughs> All right, fair. I, I guess put a, I guess put something in there. You never know. Uh, all right. I don't have a methodology. Wow, George. Like it, quick point. Like, yeah, I don't have any. I don't have anything here in this. In the all these cards. Wow, George. Nothing, nope. I want to see it play out, so I won't stop you. You can't either. You can't do it, Alvin. So I mean, no, wins automatically. Listen, if you don't do anything to me, I just flat out win. Like you, I have it on board, right? Oh, okay. Well, right. then I'll give it to Nick because he hasn't won in a while. But it's not. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I, that's what I would person. That's like yeah, that's fair, how I would. Fair, fair. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, it's all, um, it's all good. So I will. I will use my black Mora powder on Mia, Junior Quest Seeker. All right. No abilities. And I mean, I there's no, nothing I do helps or hinder anyone else at this point. So I will simply pass my turn. All right, George. Shh. Valiant effort. But I think you may have miscalculated. So fortunately for you, George, because I can still attack, I'm just going to have Mia attack into Grindon, uh, removing her for free. And then I need only play her again. Uh, four. And then I have the requisite gold left over to... Activate both of these exploration vessels, scoring me a total of six points, and taking the game. There it goes. Wonderful. GG. Three for three with me, huh? Yeah. Um, all right, so Kim, you were actually quite aggressive this game, and between mm -hmm. you and Nick, you were actually able to lock me out of a lot of potential point scoring, and it really just came down to the very last turn where I was able to eke it out, and even then, that was kind of like a, a gift from George, so... Um, yeah. Really nice to see your aggressive strategy. Did it play out exactly how you wanted, or did you? Was there something else you wanted to show? Uh, I was, I, I was kind of uh, amazed at how quickly it was stopped by just like um, the, the the demoralized. I didn't grow my denizens fast enough, uh, and so they uh, very unfortunately lost to demoralize very quickly. Yeah, there were two uh, demoralizes, weren't there? Yeah. Yeah lot of stuff to deal with uh all of my things yeah two two control yeah. decks yeah and one one punchy deck uh, you got you know the the early plays of extracting a lot of surprise point gainers are kind of crippling to this deck because like they like a lot of the original champions if you just play them out yeah uh, and try to rely on them for gaining points in a multiplayer game it's just so obvious so people are like you know i gotta take down your powerful denizens true, before they true. ever get a chance and so like that's what they're there for but then they get extracted so you know, if you're not playing against a dedicated control deck, then I think this deck works really well. Yeah, and even <laughs> that's actually a really good point. Uh, you were probably uh, a little bit unlucky to have three preventive measures hitting you at the early game. Uh, the chances of that is yeah. actually not that high, even if you're against two no. control decks. It's just basically luck of the draw. And even then, you scored 18 points and would have probably won the tiebreaker anyways. Um, if I didn't get lucky and get that gift at the end. So basically, the game was probably still going to be yours anyways, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Maybe. Could have been. Uh, yes. But also, George, someday your denizen's got a swing for some reason, ever. <laughs> you know? Alvin could have been crippled. That's right. <laughs> the, the, very last, the very last turn, for sure, it was, it was a free gift. Like, the rest, the rest of the game, I mean, I am running um, hostile sweepers, but yeah, you're right, Nick. I think... Um, a tip for, for the next time you play, George, I think sometimes you do got to run out some of your denizens. Uh, not all of them, obviously. You don't want it to get completely blown out. Um, but, I mean, something like a little dinky thing like this or my uh, 
uh, or my patrol vessel that had one health. I, I think I could have very easily not won this game if, if your plays were slightly different. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just uh, constructive feedback for, for a future game. Sure. Yeah. All right, so that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Bye.